There was once a Jewish boy, a 15-year-old, that was sent to Auschwitz. And since he knew how to be a little bit of a carpenter, they had him fixing things all day long. And one of the things he had to fix was something in the women's barracks, and he met someone, he met a Jewish girl there that found favor in his eyes, and they somehow kept some kind of a connection throughout those years that they were together in Auschwitz, in that hell. Somehow, after Auschwitz was liberated together, they found themselves in a neighboring village, and there was a vacant home there. They walked into this house, they hadn't been in a real house in years, and the first thing they find is a big mirror. And the girl goes up to the mirror to see what she looks like, because she realized she hasn't looked at herself in years. And she gets disgusted. She can't believe what she sees. So pale. She's horrified. And she can't believe that this person likes her. And then the man, the young man, he looks at himself in the mirror. Flesh, no teeth, disgusting in his own eyes. He also can't believe what he looks like. But they look at each other and they basically say to each other, you can't imagine how beautiful you look in my eyes. You can't imagine how beautiful you look in my eyes. You know, dearest friends, before the Beis Hamikdash was destroyed, we were really beautiful. Yerushalayim, the beauty of Yerushalayim. And in a sense, the beauty, the concept of beauty in the whole world was a different concept than what it is today. We could just hope and pray that until that great day comes, may it be now, when we look at each other, we look at each other with eyes of the temple, with eyes of despite what on the surface may look very nebuch, we see beyond it, and we see the inner beauty of each person, and really feel beautiful in each other's eyes. Oh.